Luckily, in the midst of all the gloom Mishawaka throws at us, Bethel has its own secret weapon for when we could all use a little extra sunshine. Hi! Good morning, Bethel College. We're pleased to see that everyone survived the internet blackout this week. Apparently, IT missed the memo that Thanksgiving break isn't for another week and a half. Luckily, we've got a newly inaugurated president in town, and he had it back up and running in no time. Which makes you wonder, if Chinnawith can fix my Bethel that quickly, what's Obama doing? Break and bake. Yeah, and if you need a shoebox, ask Austin Conrad, because he owns more shoes than most middle-aged women. Hey commuters, to help give you the full on-campus experience, you can get a souvenir photo of yourself on one of the infamous Great Room Cuddle Couches. For those of you who are experiencing your first November in Mishawaka, you've learned that at Bethel College, it doesn't matter what direction you walk, the wind seems to always be blowing in your face. So true. This time of year has a way of making everyone a little tired and on edge. Yes. And we've seen three signs this week that it's time for Thanksgiving break. You may have noticed them too. First, the line of the acorn is starting to look like a Black Friday line. Second, there are enough leaves on campus to bury an RD's car. And third, even Dr. Schmidt is falling asleep in class. <laughs> yeah, this isn't good. No. Is this thing working? I think so. Okay. If you're seeing this message, then apparently they've managed to get the power back on. We've been in the dark for nearly two hours now, and it's sheer chaos on the outside. Some would call it madness. The boys in Oakwood have taken to tearing off their shirts and running around in the storm. There are reports of girls passing out when they're told, if it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush Annika, it down. we know how it goes. It's disgusting. There's no word yet on the cause of the darkness, but I think the power outage is just a cover-up to stop open dorms. Tricky RDs. Did you quit it with the matches? Sorry, sorry. We're not sure how long we'll be down here, but we managed to scrape together some survival supplies. Three rolls of toilet paper. Yes. A couple bottles of water. Thank the Lord. And Casey's fashioned a spear out of a broom handle. Yes, I have. And we plan to use it tonight. For food. I also have managed to grab an armful of cookies. So we should be good in that department. What kind? Oh my gosh. We're gonna starve. Why? Ranger cookies. Oh! The end is here. Good morning. Want to know what's going on this weekend? It doesn't matter what you want, because we're going to tell you anyways. Campus Activities will be continuing their life-size board game series with a campus-wide game of Clue. Come out and solve the mystery. My guess is it was Sean in the library with the microphone. Or more likely, Austin Conrad in the closet with one of his shoes. And you thought I was kidding last week. The men's JV basketball team has a game on Saturday at 1 p.m., so if you've cleaned your room, washed your laundry, done all your homework, and are still bored, come watch some JV basketball. If you missed your chance to go to the D.C. for Thanksgiving dinner Wednesday night, don't worry. They'll be serving leftovers in various forms for another couple days so you can still enjoy it. You know what we're talking about. The standard leftovers recycling rotation. Day one, turkey. Day two, still recognizable turkey pot pie. Day three, getting risky, turkey and rice soup. That's my favorite. And day four, eat at your own risk, ground turkey tacos. Ah, the DC. Gotta love it. That's all for this week. Enjoy some home-cooked food over break. Happy Thanksgiving. Ah, oh, come on.